Hi fellow dreamers, in this video we're going to explore two of your dream questions and at the end I'm going to share with you our new magical raffle and how you can participate. Thanks for joining everybody, my name is Carolina. As you know, I focus on doing children's books like these right here that promote love, unity, and peace and I also help my followers interpret their dreams. We do this because when we listen to our dreams we're connecting to our subconscious and when we share them we connect with one another on a more profound level. So let's get started with the first dream of today and that is someone that's having repeated dreams of them harming someone okay now I know a few of you have had similar dreams to this so it's important that we explore this together remember guys with any dream if you wake up with that fearful state that fearful energy you want to give yourself some time to take a breather and to move to that loving and peaceful energy we want to do this because if we interpret a dream out of fearful energy all we do is grow that fear within all right so now that you're at that loving state let's take a look at this dream again it's important that when you dream that you're harming someone that you can see who this person is okay this is going to be helpful to you because think about this in dream state remember things are showing up in a really dramatic way it wants to make sure that you pay attention so this dream of you harming someone it can be you harming someone you actually know right it can be an actual person it can be um let's see symbolic right it can be like you harming an animal or someone that reminds you of someone in waking state but either way you want to pinpoint who this is for you in waking state what does this represent this thing that you're harming it can be a person it can also be a situation let me explain this a little bit further with the situation if you've had um something happen let's say within childhood or something that really um traumatized you even okay and you haven't dealt with it oftentimes it lingers like we talk about and it comes up in dream state in a really strange way at times but uh, you harming this situation etc can be a way of defending yourself okay so it's important that you pinpoint is this a person that i am harming is this a situation that i am trying to harm because i have unresolved issues with it or thirdly it can even be yourself okay let me ex explain this part okay oftentimes remember dream state is a little bit strange sometimes so if you are dreaming that you are harming someone and for whatever reason that person just kind of reminds you of you they have similar qualities or for whatever reason maybe it even looks like you okay it's important that we're really honest with ourselves in dream state because dream state is going to communicate something to you that you need to know right here and right now so if you feel that this is a representation of you fine take it but you've got to take whatever it is you're feeling whether it be a, i'm harming a person i'm harming some kind of situation some kind of memory or i'm harming myself the important thing here guys is that we pinpoint what it is that we're really harming the reason we want to do this is because we're going to need to bring this information to waking state right we need to bring it to waking state so that once we can pinpoint what this is we can bring loving energy and solution to it so for example if you dream that you're harming someone that you know reflected outward what is going on in waking state right now between you and this person there's probably an unresolved issue that there's probably something that you're really frustrated about you really need to resolve something with this person okay we know this because dream state is letting us know look you're frustrated you are pent up with frustration with anger etc so much so that you're harming this person okay and it's important that we accept this and let me explain why if you're harming someone in dream state it's important to also just reflect that whole situation outward okay how are we reacting in waking state are we reacting in a really defensive kind of way are we attacking people verbally emotionally etc we've got to be honest with ourselves because dream state is letting us know we're pent up with emotion okay it's a lot of emotion and the way that we are reacting to things is in a very uh, aggressive way basically we're very aggressive we're so upset that we're even harming this person so are we indeed harming someone in waking state it could be ourselves it could be another person etc right but we need to be honest with ourselves with this situation because it can be that we're emotionally harming uh, verbally physically etc right but dream state is letting us know that it's time to bring some loving energy and some solution to this thing okay to this issue whatever it is for you so take a moment explore that with yourself because remember dream state is just letting you know hey right now we're fed up we're done and oftentimes if you find yourself uh, harming someone repeatedly okay repeatedly in your dreams it can also be like we talked about those past situations from childhood it's happened before where um if someone in childhood state is harmed a lot okay if they're harmed a lot etc oftentimes in dream state they are the ones doing the harming okay and this comes up out of all of this guilt and of all of these emotions that we still haven't dealt with that are still within us okay remember dream state is going to look different for everyone so it's important that you use your feelings to guide you these dreams though are incredibly important 
any dream that brings about these high emotions for you are just a loving alert letting you know it's time to pay attention to the situation and actually we can explore this even longer because there's so much more uh, that we can explore within the dream so if later the dreamers that have sent us in those dreams if you include more of the emotions you were feeling during the dream and if you can uh, provide us who you identify this person with we can bring more solution to you but i hope this was helpful to begin the conversation all right i hope this helps all right let's move on to the next dreamer this dreamer says um, that they dreamt about this guy that they haven't seen in like four or five years. Okay, they had a dream about this person and they're like, huh, I had a crush on him before. Let me check him out on Facebook. So she goes to Facebook, opens her app and the guy unfriended her. He had unfriended her and she's like, well, now it's really bothering me because I didn't even think about him until I had that dream and now I check and he unfriended me. Okay, so now uh, it's clearly on her mind. So let's explore this. Remember guys, we did a whole video on our exes, right? We talked about that whenever you have a dream of your ex, Oftentimes, it's because it's letting you know, hey, there's something we still didn't learn here. There's something uh, that we need to learn so that way we can apply it in an upcoming situation in waking state. So, for example, if you um, if you had a dream, I don't know, I don't know exactly what it was, but you're saying that you saw this person who you hadn't seen in a long time. Okay, so obviously, let's look back. Okay, how was your relationship like with this person? Was there something you wanted to say that you didn't get to say? Was there something you wanted to share with this person that you didn't get to share? Let's be honest with ourselves and pinpoint what that is, what that learning experience is, right? We need to do this because guess what? Someone is going to come into our lives that is going to remind us of this person, and we're going to need to act in a different way. We're going to need to show that we have grown. Think about this because if we don't, then what ends up happening is that another person comes into our lives and we do the same thing over and over and over again. So take this as a loving alert, okay? What is it that you needed to learn from this person and bring it forward? Because also look, we are all so connected, okay? We are all completely connected in this universe. And what's so interesting about this is that you had a dream about him, then you check your Facebook and he has unfriended you. So the question is, when did he unfriend you? At one, at what point, excuse me? But it lets us know that he also has some unresolved stuff going on, okay? And that is okay, right? You as a, as a dreamer, you can decide to connect with this person in waking state, or you don't necessarily have to, right? You don't necessarily have to. And the reason we say this for this situation is because it is an ex, right? It is an ex. So it doesn't mean that this person is going to come back into your life, but it does let us know that we need to learn from whatever this relationship was like so we can apply that learning now, okay? So if it's still bothering you that he unfriended you or, or what have you, okay, if it continues to bother you and you have other dreams, let us know, let us help you explore this. But for now, just realize we need to bring whatever learning experience we needed to learn and apply it now because someone is going to come that will remind us of this person, all right? So guys, I hope this was helpful for you. Remember, we're here to help guide you through your dream language. Uh, everybody has a different dream language, which is so beautiful. So I absolutely love hearing about your dreams. Remember, when you send your dream to me, make sure you include the emotions. The more detail you can include about the dream, the better it will be for me. Because look, okay, if I don't know you personally, I don't know much of your culture. I don't know much of your background, etc. So it takes uh, it takes more information for me to really understand where the dream is coming from, right? And when you put your feelings down, when you let me know what you're feeling within the dream, we can use those feelings to guide the interpretation. So please include those. Now, I told you that I was going to share with you our upcoming magical raffle. And guys, we call it a magical raffle because it's free. We don't charge for the raffle because we just want it to be magical and we want it to be fun. So the way that you can enter into the raffle is all you have to do here for um, either YouTube or Facebook, you just share one of my videos with um, 10 of your friends, okay? Share it with 10 of your friends and say, hey, check out her content. Her videos are very interesting, okay? You share that and you just take a screenshot, you send it to me, and we will add you into the raffle. Now, we are going to actually give out the raffle um, items, which are these beautiful dream catchers, these beautiful dream catchers right here. And we're going to be raffling them off live during our next TikTok. And the TikTok live is going to take place on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern. So if you're interested in receiving a beautiful dream catcher, 
from me um, then come to our live and you will be placed into the raffle and we're going to name off the raffle winners that day all right so i hope that you will join us but guys i hope this video was helpful to you and remember we will continue to explore our dreams together and to share loving energy okay i send you a huge hug i send you love unity and peace and we will be in contact bye everybody uh -huh.